Hello and welcome to the market update for the end of May 2020. I'm Aaron Kraft, the managing broker here at Weikert Realtors Unlimited. Um, when we go through these stats, one of the things we're going to be looking at intently today is the market absorption rate. So what does that mean? Well, simply put, if it's a number between a five and a six, uh, it would be an equal market or a normal market. If it's below a five and the stronger, the, the lower the number, the stronger the seller's market. If it's above a six, the stronger that number, the stronger the buyer's market. Um, and what it really is referring to is if no other homes came on the market, how long would it take for the market to be depleted of inventory? And so that's kind of the number we look at when we say it's a seller's market, buyer's market. All right, so the lower the number, the stronger the seller's market, the higher the number, the higher the buyer's market. So as we look through this, looking at some of the different counties in Western North Carolina, um, we are seeing a drastic decrease in the market absorption rates over the last couple of months. This is due to the buyers being strong and the buyers going under contract on properties while more and more sellers have stayed put in their homes over the COVID-19 crisis. It's been hard to get sellers to allow showings and uh, sellers to want to come on the market. So many have stayed off the market, creating this um, sort of faux uh, seller's market that has become a real seller's market uh, just because so many sellers have stayed off the market. So as we look at this here, the market absorption rates are down across all five of these counties. Uh, Buncombe County at a 2.69, that's a very strong seller's market. Haywood County at a 3.2. Henderson County has been very strong on a seller's market. They're at a 2.16 at this point. Madison County is at a 3.4 and Rutherford at a 2.6 as well. So it, it, again, it has been a strong seller's market currently. Now this is including all homes of uh, single family homes, condos, townhomes, of any price range. Certainly absorption rates and markets are very specific to price ranges and to exact areas in town, certain cities. So anytime your realtor is looking at your exact market, you wanna look at the exact price range and city and location for your property. But here's the, for the entire counties, we're looking at the trends here. But when you look at the prices, you see the, the big differences. It's still uh, very much a, a seller's market, except when you go over $400,000 in Madison County uh, and Haywood County, but it is still a seller's market. But you see the drastic differences. I've got these little air arrows here going way down and going way up, showing you the differences that uh, just using 400,000 as an indicator, everything under 400,000 in Buncombe County, your market absorption rate is a very small 1.7. In Henderson County, it's as low as 1.38. So anything under 400,000, you're looking at only two months before we'd be completely depleted of homes on the market. So very strong. You go over 400,000, the, the buyers are, are fewer. I believe it's been impacted a little bit more from the stock market. And, uh, you know, it, it's been impacted from lending as well. Some of the jumbo loans have been put on hold for a while. So we're seeing homes over 400,000 have a difference there. And if we did this, these graphs in more detail on homes over a million dollars, you'd see those numbers go even higher. OK, um, so that's what we're looking at for market absorption rates. Uh, we look at land sales, uh, the numbers are higher. So I put these numbers together just to make that point. If you're looking at selling some land, it is still very much a buyer's market. And that's normally true around here because we do have a lot of land, a lot of land for sale. Uh, and so we, we tend to be in a buyer's market on land continually. Uh, and that these are the current numbers right now. All right. So generally around a 20, 25 or so. Um, and so it just means that if you're the buyer, you, you have a little more leverage. Uh, on the piece of land. Of course, it does still depend on the exact uh, area, location, and of course your price point and how well you have priced the property as well, okay? Here's some stats that my office has been looking at over the last few months, the COVID-19 crisis. We've been trying to look at 10-day periods uh, and see how things are actively changing. And we've gotten some more detail with it, but I wanted to just share these 
couple of uh, stats, how many homes have come active and how many homes have come under contract. And doing this over the last few months, I'm, I'm sharing with you here uh, the last uh, basically six weeks of this data. And so you see all the way back here from five weeks ago, we had only about 180 homes coming active and 244 going under contract. And those numbers rose over the last month or so here to where there were 326 homes going under contract and more homes coming on the market three weeks ago. And then two weeks ago, the homes under contract stayed about the same. More homes started coming on the market. But then last week, we saw a decrease again. Uh, don't really know why, but we saw the homes coming active drop down to 217, but the homes going under contract increased significantly to 376. So again, that's, that's changing our market absorption rates so that they are more of a seller's market, less coming on the market, more going under contract. The longer this trend continues, the more strong of a seller's market it's going to be. And then looking at this week, you have 262 homes coming active, so a few more homes coming active, but even more homes going under contract. So again, this trend is continuing, and we need to watch and be sure that we're aware of it as realtors and as buyers and as sellers so we can accurately see how we want to uh, work with each individual sale. All right, but it is still actually a really good time to buy. Just because it's a seller's market doesn't mean it's not a good time to buy. And I know it seems kind of odd, but it's true. Our interest rates are at extremely low rates, some of the lowest rates we've ever seen in history. We're consistently having buyers get 2.9%, 3%, 3.2%. Obviously, that all has to do with your own credit score and, and, and other financial indicators, but we're seeing people uh, get these incredibly low interest rates. And just as a for an example, I put this together showing you if you were at a $350,000 purchase price and you put 20% down, which I'll just say my piece here, you don't have to put 20% down. There's lots of loans out there with 3.5% down, 5% down, uh, even some first-time home buyer programs at 3% down, and some other USDA, VA loan programs that are 0% um, down. So, um, you know, you don't even have to have the 20%. But if you did at 350,000, put 20% down, $280,000 loan, and today you might be able to get something as low as a 2.99%, that monthly payment is only $1,473.73. So if you waited and interest rates went up just to a 3.99, which is still on a historically low interest rate, uh, but even if they were just down there to uh, 3.99, your interest rate would go up by almost, uh, I mean, your uh, payment would go up by almost $200 a month. So it's not the end of the world at $200 a month or $195.21. Uh, but look at this difference over the life of the loan. It'd be $70,275 difference. So that's why we really feel like now is still a great time to buy, even though it might be a seller's market in what you're looking at. And the other idea is some people have said, well, I think prices are going to go down. Uh, we're not seeing that. And I don't think we will in Western North Carolina because we are such a desirable place to live. Uh, if people are going to be moving, uh, they're going to be moving out of the Northeast and out of populated areas to get to more beautiful places like, like our area. So I, I do see our prices to continue to stay at least stable, if not continue to go up especially if we don't stay into a seller's market, okay? So, in conclusion, uh, it is a seller's market in most areas, and one of the best times to sell we have seen in many, many years. Um, it is likely that more and more sellers will come on the market in the next few months as uh, things have changed in the country and in the state, and uh, more and more sellers will feel comfortable coming on the market. So as they do, I believe it will soften the market absorption rate. It'll still be a seller's market, but it will soften it a bit. So again, now would be a great time to sell if you are interested. Um, also, despite the market favoring the sellers, it is still a fantastic time to buy uh, because buyers can save tremendously in the interest rates. And again, prices are uh, likely to continue to stay stable or continue to go up. All right, so if you have any questions at all, and you just like to chat about some of these stats or need some specific stats for your exact home or 
home you're looking to buy, feel free to contact me. Again, my name is Aaron Kraft, the managing broker here at Weikert Realtors Unlimited. You can reach me at 828-545-9953 or my email address uh, down below here at acraft at weikertunlimited.com. Thank you very much for joining me on this market update for the end of May.